Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Design Department of Sale RSP uses advanced 3D printing technology to help develop critical equipments to bring huge savings. Safety training program on material handling safety and fire safety held at CRM department and home and health aid training concludes at Sale RSP. Now the news in detail. The innovative and skillful employees of Design Department of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant used advanced 3D printing technology to help restore horizontal boring machine number 109 of repair shop mechanical. The ingenious efforts enabled developing clutch plates of the critical machine equipment of RSM thus bringing about substantial savings for the company. Notably, this machine, an HEC model installed in the late 1970s, had been out of service due to the damage of crucial components. The machine was rendered inoperative because of a clutch issue that affected the feed transfer to the spindle measurement. The spare clutch plate had become obsolete and similar clutches from other makes were not dimensionally suitable for fitting. The old clutch was required to be replaced with new one which needed major machining of the fitment area. The RSM team collaborated with the design department to address the issue. The design collective promptly took the initiative to not only develop the drawings but also to print the complex shaped clutch plate with a thickness of 1.5 mm and close tolerance. The process began with scanning the sample clutch plate and developing a 3D model. Using this model, 15 clutch plates were printed using A2 tool steel. These plates were successfully fitted into the machine's clutch and the horizontal boring machine number 109 is now operational. The cost of the new machine is rupees 1.2 crore. The in-house development of these clutch plates has resulted in substantial savings of around rupees 10 lakhs which would have been the cost of a new clutch with necessary fitment machining of the housing. A safety training program on material handling safety and fire safety was held at coal rolling mill premises of Sale Rorkela steel plant on 30th July 2024 for the contractual workmen of Messrs. J. Ispat engaged in dismantling job at coal rolling mill. Mr. Gurminder Singh, GM in charge, CRM, presided over the program. Present on the occasion were Mr. B. Kaur, GM CRM, Mr. P. S. Thakre, GM SED, and other senior officers and employees of the department. Around 50 employees, including executives and contract workers, took part in the program. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Gurminder Singh emphasized upon the concepts of safety, kharse ghartak, and safety is everyone's responsibility. He urged all to speak up if any unsafe condition or practice is noticed and to report all the near miss incidents. Mr. P. S. Thakre and Ms. P. Nath, assistant manager SED, shared the safety practice to be followed during shifting and lifting of materials. The past incidents of sale were discussed in detail along with importance of safety corner. Mr. M. I. Sonkusare, DZM and Mr. S. Goswami, Assistant Manager from Fire Services Department highlighted the importance of fire safety and conducted a practical demonstration on different fire extinguishing instruments and methods. The program was the joint coordination of CRM, Fire Services and Safety Engineering Department. Home and Health Aid Training organized by CSR Department of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant in collaboration with Ma Samleshwari Education and Welfare Trust concluded on 29 July 2024 at Institute of Peripheral Development Sector 20. Dr. Jant Acharya, CMO in charge, 
RSP presided over the concluding session and handed over the completion certificates to 15 women and including young girls who successfully completed the three months course. Present on the occasion were Ms. Munmun Mitre, GMCSR, Mr. T. B. Topo, SGMCSR, Mr. A. N. Patti, SGMCSR, Mr. Vikran Pujari, General Secretary, Mass Amalasuri Education Welfare Trust, Ms. Lata, General Manager Training, MSEWT, other officers and staff of RSP and Mass Amalasuri Education Welfare Trust and other trainees. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Acharya underlined the importance of palliative care and the scope it has in the emerging health scenario across the globe. He urged the participants to stick to the ethical values of health care and serve the society to the best of their capacity. At the outset, Ms. Munmun Mitra welcomed the gathering and briefed about the training process and also the other activities of RSP CSR. Ms. Richa Sudhiram, Manager CSR, coordinated the program. Notably, during the three months training program aimed at empowering women, generate income and enhance skills incorporated broad range of competencies essentially for providing holistic and compassionate care to patients with life limiting illness for effectively addressing the physical, emotional, social and spiritual needs of patients and their families. The short term course included pain management, symptom management, communication skills, emotional support, spiritual care, administering medication, monitoring, non-pharmacological therapy techniques, bereavement care and self-care and security at workplace. Hands-on training with silicon dummies were also arranged for better internalization. Assessments were done through different methodologies such as riddle competition, essay writing. Towards the end of a comprehensive handbook on the course was also provided participants as a ready reference. The sessions were conducted by Ms. Juleta Kispota, retired head nurse IGH and Ms. Saraswati Ekka, staff nurse, Shanti Memorial Hospital and expert trainers of MSEWT. Dr. Ranjan Mahanti dealt with critical and clinical aspect of patient's care for 12 days. This training will not only equip women with health, vital health care skills, but also open avenues for sustainable income and professional growth, contributing to their overall empowerment and the betterment of their communities. Here we come to the end of today's news bulletin. Namaskar.